In this interview, we chat with actress Molly Coons and director Gio de Mestre about their new film, The Wolf and the Lion, in theaters now. We're very sorry for your loss. Grandpa was all I had left. He didn't do things like other people. I made a new friend recently, a she-wolf. She goes around the house a lot. What are you doing? It's okay. You've got a pup. I'm following a falling star. Hey. Force Ranger Simpson. I heard there was a plane crash. It's pretty terrible. The plane was carrying a lion cub bought by a circus. We haven't found it yet. Keep on searching. Joe, you have to come and see this. There's a wolf pup, a lion cub, and... What the hell is that? It's one of Grandpa's girlfriends. What? They're inseparable. <laughs> the she-wolf didn't come back. I'll have to take care of them myself. You have no right to them. Give me back my lion. I'll never let anything happen to you. look after them when they're older. I have to protect them. They love each other. I'll get my lion back one way or another. Stop! I'll find the way home. Find the way home. Wow. I got to say, The Wolf and The Lion, I had a chance to check it out. At the time we're recording this interview, it literally just dropped in theaters. What an amazing story about 20-year-old Alma. She loses pretty much every family member close to her, comes back to this island that is gorgeous, but very remote, very deserted. And she runs into not one, but two cubs, a, a wolf and a lion. And well, the rest is history. I got to ask you first, Molly, how did you get involved in this film? Uh, I, I auditioned. I sent my tape to, um, to casting and they forwarded it on to Gilles and Prune. And then Gilles liked my tape and took me up to Canada to... What do you love? <laughs> <laughs> Gilles loved it. He loved it. Uh, and then um, took, took me up to Canada to meet some wolves and see how we got along and... We did okay, and I got the part. <laughs> <laughs> and you mentioned recorded. So I know, I know with a lot of actors uh, during the pandemic, they've been doing a lot of self-tapes, which is really just kind of recording yourself in your apartment, in your home, wherever, rather than doing the audition in person. So I'm assuming a majority of this, if not all of this, was filmed during the pandemic, right? About, about half of it was filmed during the pandemic. No. Um, I actually auditioned for this back in 2018. Yes, um, and then we shot in 2019 and 2020. Okay, so I'd imagine there's definitely a lot of challenges between the pandemic, keeping everybody safe, but also, uh, as you mentioned, working with these animals. For those that don't know, you didn't use any CGI here. These were all real trained animals uh, that were seen throughout the film. So how did, how did that all work out for you? How did this idea come about? And when did you decide to say, you know what, for, forget these the CGI stuff, we're going to work with the real animals? Because with that, you can, you can do a, a different movie. I mean, in the States, you are the, 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 the number one to use CGI to make beautiful movies with that. Uh, $200 million movies. Uh, <laughs> and um, so you have a result which is imp impressive. Disney, uh, I don't know, uh, all those beautiful companies who are doing incredible movies. But me, uh, what I like is to have the the real relationship and the emotion it gives. Uh, and uh, that you cannot do with CGI. It's impossible. To have a wolf and a lion interacting with a young girl and to see uh, uh, together playing, uh, hugging, kissing, uh, that's not possible in CGI because it's too complicated and too... Uh, it's impossible. Maybe in 20 years it wouldn't going to be possible, but today, no. So I like the... The, the emotion it it, it gives uh, uh, the the plus it gives on on the, those movie. So I try to find stories, and after under that uh, have messages around the our our world, our planet, and uh, that we have to to protect this beautiful uh, nature and those uh, incredible and majestic animals. 
who are endangered. And so I tried to find stories to just to move uh, the audience and to to ask them to to maybe help those animals. It's kind of funny. You said it's a it's complicated. It's impossible to have a wolf and a lion interacting with each other through CGI. No, <laughs> so you decided to do it in person, which I, with real <laughs> animals, and obviously that's not easy as well. So what were the challenges that you ran into as a, a director, kind of coordinating everything, make sure these animals are trained, and you know, obviously making sure Molly, as, as the lead actress, is, is safe when interacting with these? Well, it's it's a kind of nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, but no, it, it's a process. I mean, we, we don't train animals. Uh, our uh, our trick is really love and bond, and uh, so it's not really a trick. I mean, it's relationship, and the time, patience uh, are the the ingredients to to do those kind of movies. So we spent two years to do that. Molly spent a lot of time with the animals. Uh, the animals uh, began interacting with the wolf and the lion when they were uh, like five weeks, six weeks old. And uh, they were always together, and they begin, be, became uh, became uh, became uh, brothers uh, because uh, uh, it's not a problem of a wolf of, of a lion. It's a it's a problem of two cubs together, and uh, they play together, they sleep together, they learn from each other. And after we we get to the set, and we have them here. We are very quiet. We're a small crew. Uh, Molly is really adapted to to them. And uh, and we try to we have a, a script, but we change the script uh, uh, with the character of the animals, with the way they they go. Uh, we try to adapt the camera to that, and so we did a sixteen version of the script uh, because we changed a lot of things because we saw the animal were different what we what we imagined. So it's a complicated process. It's a, a live process. Uh, it's really not you uh, we. we we don't use often that in movies, but I like to do movies like that. That's, that's pretty incredible. And obviously you have to adapt in Molly for you. I mean, I'm sure you're used to working with various co-stars. You're not used to working with live <laughs> animals. So what were some of the challenges uh, you ran into and how did you evolve as a performer over the course of filming this film? It was so different as a performer to work with animals because they're, like you said, they're entirely unlike any other co-star I'd ever had before. Um, it's not only improv, but you don't, uh, you know, there, there is no planning. There is no rehearsal. You just have to see what they want to do and what they, where they go with the scene. And then you follow their lead. And I think the beautiful thing is that I really did know them so well. And so um, I was able to see how they were feeling and play off of their energy. Um, but of course they're, they were my first priority. Um, and if I don't have a bond with them, I don't have anything. So, um, including maybe my limbs. Um, <laughs> so I wanted to, I think as a performer, normally you would adjust your voice and adjust your body language to the character and to the scene. And in this instance, uh, it was so much more important for me to adjust my body language to make sure they felt safe and make sure they felt good. And my, my voice too. Um, so a lot of the elements of performance that I would normally do were adjusted for them. They start out as cubs. These, these animals that we see, the, the wolf and the lion, are the same ones when they were little and grown throughout the film, right? They're the same, they, they spent all this time together. So I would imagine that this was filmed over the last couple of years and they practically grew up together and grew a bond with you, right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, that's the process. It's the same animal. They grow together, and uh, and that's because it's safe. If you if if you put different animal, uh, I'm sure if if you put a, a wolf and a lion together, they don't know each other. The the, the lion is going to kill the wolf in one second. I, I, that's incredible. Did it surprise either of you at all that that they grew so close? I mean, it's one thing to film it and have the magic of post production, but for them to actually be best friends in real life, I would imagine to this day, I mean, that had a somewhat surprise you. Yeah, me, I didn't think it, 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 it would go so far that they, they would be so close. And uh, that, that's fantastic because uh, uh, what's funny, they, they learn from each other. 
And mm -hmm. uh, we always tell the, the funny story of the <laughs> lion digging holes. And a lion never dig holes because wolf are digging holes and he learned from the from the wolf and it, and the and the, the wolf acting like a cat he was playing with branches and leaves uh, like a cat is playing and the, the the wolf never do that and so it's like and often when we, when we shoot with only with the wolf or only with a lion we had to bring the other one yeah <laughs> that's what the I was other one saying. they couldn't they couldn't do and uh, they had a scene they were playing and go to see the the the, the lion and come back on on the set and so it's it's incredible to see that but i mean it's it's also one of the messages of the of the, of the movies uh, if you learn to to know a person uh, any anyone even is so different from you even is coming from the other part of the earth even it's not the same religion the same what well, i don't know color whatever mm -hmm. uh, if you know each other you you can be become brother and you can, you can love and so that's also the message a family is love so mozart and dreamer they're still best friends in real life they're based in canada now or are they are they just kind of roman run, run wild where are they at these days they're, they are at uh, andrew simpson which is the animal coordinator uh, he kept them together because they, they were inseparable uh, because at, at the beginning we were supposed to send the lion back to africa but they are, they are born there was they were born in uh, in uh, Canada, so they are Canadian, Canadian lions, but uh, we wanted to give them a, a retreat in Africa. But at one point, when we saw the, such a relationship, we, we didn't want to separate them. And we, we thought it was more important, the, the bond they had, than going to Africa where they don't know Africa, the, those lions. That, that's so cool. And, and Molly, for you, do they miss you at all? Do you ever get the urge to visit them now that you're done filming this? I do, yeah. I hope they miss me. I hope they're roaming around thinking about me every day. Um, <laughs> I doubt it, but I miss them and I'm planning to go up and visit. Um, the border was closed during COVID, so it was difficult. I couldn't go see them, but hopefully sometime this year, I'll be able to make it up. Well, we definitely look forward to checking out The Wolf and The Lion. Currently in theaters right now, strongly recommend everybody check it out. Uh, in addition to the wolf and the lion, do you two have any other upcoming projects you'd like to talk about? I'm I'm, I'm shooting at at uh, now in in Mexico and a new movie, a comedy uh, about uh, the Amazon forest. But uh, it's it, it was a kid and there is a jaguar and it's very funny funny adventure. One more thing in one line or less for each of you: Why should people watch the wolf and the lion? It's heartwarming. It's a feel good movie, and I think people need that right now. Agreed. It's more than one sentence. <laughs> <laughs> Agreed. And Gilles? Uh, we try to do a movie to share in family families. The parents and the kids can share the movie, discuss about it after, take a lot of pleasure to see it, and after be happy to just to to share something something good to for the heart. I think. Fantastic. Well, I thank you two so much for the time. It was a, a pleasure to review the film, to check it out. I strongly recommend everybody watch it. The Wolf and the Lion in theaters right now. Congratulations on all the success and hope to talk to you guys again soon.